Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with the recap of the Sweet 16 games in March Madness for Thursday. Um, before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, please, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would be greatly really appreciated. We're really trying to grow this channel, so please do that. Um, and let's talk about the four games that happened today. Um, first one that happened, Florida State versus Gonzaga. Um, this was a pretty interesting game. Both teams played kind of sloppy, especially Florida State. Um, but what happened was that Florida State, um, they, I think they kind of just ran out of gas and, got, and let the game get away from them in the final five minutes. And um, basically, Gonzaga went ahead and pulled away and got the 72-58 to 58 game. Uh, the difference in this game was three-point shooting. Um, Gonzaga didn't, um, sh they didn't really shoot the ball particularly well, but they shot the ball well enough. Florida State was like 15% from a three-point range. I mean, you, and if you're 15% from three-point range, that's pretty bad, and you're probably going to lose most of your games. Um, but give Gonzaga credit, they're going to move on to the Elite Eight, which I believe is Saturday and Sunday, so I'll have recaps on those games as well. Next game here, uh, Purdue versus Tennessee, and went into overtime, but Tennessee falls in the Sweet 16 as Purdue um, goes into overtime and gets the 99-94 win. Purdue had a big lead, an 18-point lead in the first half, but they blew it. Uh, give Tennessee credit on coming back, but they just ran out of gas. Tennessee had this game. Um, until that, until uh, they fouled the three-point shooter, and Tennessee fans were telling you like, "Oh, it was a terrible call. It was a terrible call. It was a good call." Um, the three-point shooter got bumped. Um, Klein for Purdue, he went seven for ten from three-point range. He was balling, and this game was awesome. Like, whenever Purdue scored, Tennessee scored. Like the last five minutes, like it was going back and forth. Like, oh, we'll shoot a bunny. Oh, we got a bunny for you. Or like Tennessee shoots a three-pointer, Purdue will go right down the corner and shoot a three-pointer. So this was a fun game, but at the end, I think Tennessee just ran out of gas a little bit. Um, it was a great season for Tennessee. They were the number one team for several weeks, uh, but overall, their season's over, and Purdue, they're going to move on to the Elite Eight. Um, so, hopefully, um, the Elite Eight, and they'll get their crack against um, Virginia. So, hopefully, they will do um, well against um, them. Or do they get their crack against... I forget who they get their crack against. Anyways... Uh, next game here, Texas Tech versus Michigan. This was the most sloppiest game I've seen so far in March Madness. Uh, but Texas Tech, they dominated in the second half and pulled away and got the 19-point win against Michigan. Uh, give Texas Tech credit. Last year, they ran North Carolina off the court. This year, they ran Michigan off the court. I had Michigan in this one, um, so I was pissed about that. Um, but listen, Texas Tech, they're, they're going to be in the um, Elite Eight. They get their crack against Gonzaga, so hopefully um, they they um, and they have a chance to beat Gonzaga. By the way, and by the way, um, Purdue does get their crack against Virginia, as I'll get to that game in a second. But Texas Tech, uh, they'll get their crack against Gonzaga. Um, they have a good shot against uh, Gonzaga, even though Gonzaga um, they played a bit sloppy. But hopefully they pick it up. It, that it should be a good game. Texas Tech might be in the final four, and I, and I was very hesitant to even pick Texas Tech to go past the Sweet 16. As you can see, I didn't. Don't mind. I uh, made my March Madness predictions, but um, basically Texas Tech. Give them credit. They'll be in in the uh, Elite Eight facing Gonzaga. Michigan. I'm pissed off. You guys played extremely sloppy. You guys couldn't buy a shot in this one. It was a horrible performance by Michigan. And then the last game that just ended, Virginia, they squeaked by Oregon 53-49. to Let's give a round of applause to Oregon. Um, listen, as a 12 seed, I mean, they only got in because they won the Pac-12 championship. As a 12 seed, they upset Wisconsin. They beat UC Irvine. And they played a very competitive game against Virginia. Actually, a very good game. But it just came up a bit short. Virginia is the more talented team. Uh, one thing I liked in this game is that we had, we saw a little bit of fight action. Two players going at the um, – his name escapes me, but the guy that dyes his hair on uh, Virginia, one of the Oregon players. Um, 
They went to face to face and each picked up a technical foul for us. So I like that. That it, it felt a little bit like an NBA playoff game. And by the way, we will be doing videos on the NBA playoffs. That's right around the corner. But overall, um, give Oregon credit, but Virginia just too good of a team. They get their crack against Purdue. Uh, it should be a very interesting game. I can't wait to watch it um, on Saturday. But anyways, th that's what I think about the March Madness games on Thursday. Tomorrow we got um, number three LSU versus number two Michigan State. Um, it just flashed on my screen. <laughs> it just flashed on my screen. Okay, number so we got we got number three LSU versus number two Michigan State. Number five Auburn versus number one North Carolina. Number four Virginia Tech versus number one Duke. And then number three Houston versus number two Kentucky. Uh, so as long as North Carolina wins, um, you're gonna have as long as um North Carolina and um and uh, Duke win, um, you're gonna have an LSU. Even though you have to do it, so it kind of messes it, messes it up. Um, you're gonna probably most likely have all top four teams, um, in each bracket in the uh, Elite Eight. So that will be interesting. It's the first time I could think about that in a while. That I can remember that in a that I remember that happened in a while. But it'll be inter it'll be interesting or whatever the hell happens. Anyways, uh, I'm done talking. I'm getting ready to watch a Practical Jokers. Uh, the new season started tonight, uh, so I'm gonna catch that. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching again, and this is McDee the Beast signing off.